This is an NCE BD20 block detector. Uh, now what this is gonna do, this is gonna make it so that when the engine is in a certain block of track that is isolated, it's gonna detect it and turn our crossing signals on. They're pretty simple to hook up. So I've cut this uh, one foot green wire. I need to feed this through as many times as I can feed it through. And I'm gonna only be able to do it twice. This is gonna be tapped into your DCC bus line. Um, either one, left or right, doesn't matter. Um, but it's gonna be part of that bus. It can detect either an engine or it can detect a caboose with a light on it. Um, but either way, it has to have some kind of circuitry. Uh, it won't detect just a box car that doesn't have any kind of electronics on it at all. This is your positive in, and this is your ground. Uh, this is where it gets power. Uh, you can hook it up to just ordinary old DC. That is what I am going to do. So let me go ahead and hook up the positive wire to the 5 volt. See, it says plus 5. Okay, that is my positive power wire and the negative goes here okay. so now i'm gonna hook up a resistor just for testing this is a 1k resistor second one in from the positive i am going to tap off the positive line for the positive end of my led and then the negative end of my LED. I'm gonna connect to that resistor. Okay, so this is gonna get us going for testing. I'll take this out to the layout and, and I'll hook it up. I can give you a demonstration of how it's gonna detect that, that locomotive. But let me just add that when we finally go to hook up our lighted circuit, it's gonna be connected as such your negative is just going to tap off the negative wire and then the positive is going to go into this third terminal from the left second from the right that we have not put anything in yet um, but right now we are just set up for testing all it's going to do is light up this LED so all right let's move on out to the layout all right uh, now we are out on the layout. I've got my BD20 block detector hooked up temporarily for test with alligator clips. The, okay, so this green wire here, uh, the one that's wrapped around the detector, is tapped right into my bus line. I just cut the red wire and then um, left the black wire intact. The red wire then feeds through here, wraps around, then connects to the power cab. And then I've got my positive wire for power tapped into my 12 volt bus. It's a little messy right now. And I've got my negative wire also tapped into my 12 volt bus. And then I got my resistor hooked up uh, to my LED. That's gonna light up when the train gets into the block that is separated by these insulated joiners. I've got it kind of set kind of far back from the uh, crossing because um, I'm not always gonna have a caboose that has circuitry on it. Um, if you're always gonna have a caboose that has circuitry on it, you may not want this to be flashing so long. Um, so as soon as maybe you wanna put it right here, the. The, the separation when your caboose gets to this point, um, it will then stop detecting circuitry on the block. I'm fine with it being on a little bit longer. So let's do a demonstration. All right. So, okay, I'm gonna stop it for a second. You can see where the engine is, right there. Um, the bridge is where the block starts. I can't record both the engine and the LED at the same time. So you'll just have to trust me that it's about to enter into the block. So here we go. 
going forward. Now it just entered the block and the LED lit up. So uh, it is gonna stay lit up until we exit the block, which is gonna be right at the end of that trestle bridge. And the light goes out. So, it works. Um, all we have to do now, disconnect the LED and uh, then this wire here instead will uh, go to the lighted circuit. And uh, instead of powering the LED, we'll power the lighted circuit. So I will hook that up in a test fashion with the alligator clip so you can see. And then, uh, We'll give it another run. Okay, here's how we have to hook this up. Now, for the, as for the lighted circuit, that needs to connect. Also, my red wire on my lighted circuit, which is it's connected to the RR terminal, it's, it's wired directly into my 12 volt bus as well. It's the negative wire that's hooked it into my LR on my lighted circuit that is plugged into the logic, the logic terminal. Okay, a little change there. Uh, we are actually gonna plug that into the relay terminal, not the logic terminal. The reason is because when I plug it into the logic terminal, the LEDs on the crossing signals, they will flicker like that. When you are running a train across, you don't want these LEDs flickering. I tried adding a keep alive and it, it just, just what will not work. So I'll explain at the end of this video um, a little more detail, but the solution is to plug it into the relay port instead, not the logic port. Um, this is connected to the black wire, the LR of my lighted circuit. That's how you hook it up. All right, solved the flicker problem. So I actually spent several hours on this, trying to go through and make adding, adding keep alive circuits to the lighted, which apparently only works if you're using it as a mobile decoder. Uh, we are using it as an accessory decoder. Um, I just could not get those capacitors to work. So, the capacitors that I talked about earlier, not valid for this scenario. Um, okay, so what I ended up doing was and I, I actually kind of noticed this when I was messing around, experimenting with the uh, the, uh, the DB20. Um, when I had the LED attached to the relay port, I didn't get so much flicker. And I, I just thought of that right now. Um, the manual tells you to hook up your your lot your signal logic. Uh, to the logic terminal. Um, so that's what I did. I hooked the uh, the red wire on the lighted circuit up to the logic terminal. That's when I started seeing flicker. Um, I went through a clean my track and everything. It didn't it didn't fix it at all. Um, so then I reached under the board and took out the wire that was attached to my logic circuit and moved it over to my relay circuit. And then, flicker went away. So, now I can give you a little demonstration. Got my train. That yeah, caboose is in the front, so I'll see me. And I'll back it up out of the, uh... see I haven't done anything, but moved it to the relay circuit instead of logic, and the flicker is gone. So now it's gonna get out of the block, and it just did, so it exited the block. Let's put it forward here. I'm going as slow as the train will go. It just entered the block. See that? No flicker. 
so when you hook up your lighted circuit to your BD20 and you're depending on uh, so look at that see the caboose lots of flicker because I have no keep alive in that caboose there's no keep alive anywhere that I will use so that's it. Uh, I am gonna wrap up this video. All right. And for my American viewers, have a good Thanksgiving. Good night.